This is that time of the year again. You got yourself a new journal. Despite the previous one being barely filled, you are excited for your new gym subscription. You are determined to wake up early, start a new healthy diet, create a reading habit, and the list goes on and on. But we know none of this will stick by the time we reach February. But oh well, I guess New Year knew me, right? Many of us make New Year resolution, but only a few manage to let it stick. And looking back at my 2020 goals, I'm definitely not part of the small fraction. For me, I start from feeling extremely hopeful for my goals, to thinking it's a total waste of time. But deep inside me, I feel like I can fix this. So this year, I'm determined to figure out what went wrong for my goal setting. So today, let me share with you some of my mistakes and why we tend to struggle with our goals despite the motivation and determination we have at the start of the year. First, the overemphasis of the new year. January 1st. I mean, it's a beautiful combination of numbers that represents the start of the year. But we give this day too much power and emphasis, thinking that it's the beginning of an awesome year. But come to think of it, it's just an arbitrary date we give ourselves to set a new beginning, which doesn't have any deeper meaning for us other than being a new year. I hate to say it, but it's just another day in our life. There's nothing special about it, nor does it give us extra hours to work on our goals. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that feeling motivated at the start of the year is bad. But don't fall for the new year new me trap, thinking that you can start anything at the beginning of the year, but lose all the motivation you have as the time goes by. I know most of you are going to watch this video at the end of the year or at the start of a new year. But what I want to say is we can start living healthy during May, learn a new language in August, start journaling in December. This energy shouldn't be limited only to the beginning. If you feel the boost to start something right now, start it right now. Next is the hype and trend. Most goals are just trends that repeat itself at the start of the year. We see others doing it and follow along, so we won't miss out on what's good. It's ingrained in our mind that goal setting is a must do for us to start our year right. We quickly settle down to commit to a list of resolutions recommended on the internet without giving much thoughts on what's the purpose of those resolutions. There's a reason why gym subscription is at its highest during the start of the year, and probably the sale of water bottle, journal, and workout clothing saw during this period. We tell ourselves we are making the first step to start our goals, but a lot of time, it's just an excuse for our consumerism mind to purchase something. I mean, shopping is the easiest step, but it's never easy for us to commit. Similar to any trends and hype, there's a pick, there will be a fall. None of this is for the long term if there's no clear intention why we are doing it. So, instead of setting goals based on others, or even worse, for others, let's create goals that are not based on people's expectation, but one that aligns with our own value and things that we want to achieve. I think our goals need to be highly individual in order for us to be intentional. That's when our motivation and determination are genuine and can stand the test of time, even when our morale is low. Vague goals. I think a lot of us don't see the difference between goals and resolutions. Neither do I before making this video. So let me clarify the misconception. Resolutions. That's the decision to do or not to do something the actionable step we need to take to resolve something. In my own words, the input. Goals, on the other hand, paints a bigger picture of what we want to achieve. And I call it the outcome or the result. And yes, that's the name of my biceps. So apparently, looking back at my old goals, I've created goals without resolutions, wanting a result without clear action. They can be as vague as bigger chests and defined apps. Spending time with family when time allows. Learn to be firm and mature. What these resolutions have in common is, they are the result of doing. But they weren't clear enough for me to commit. There's no trackable time frame, nor does it have any actionable step for me to know if I'm working towards the right direction. And sometimes this goes another way around as well. I've created resolutions without clear goal. In some sense, it's having the action without clear purpose. For example, Trying out vegan meal for my lunch every weekday is a clear resolution, but I don't have a goal here. There's no clear purpose why I wanted to do it. 
I just want to try it out. So no surprise, none of these goals changed my life. But there's actually one good solution to this, which is the godfather of goal setting, the SMART goals. I know, it's an overly used and ubiquitous acronym. I've been seeing it in my whole life, especially in school, but my brain had never registered it and I never knew how essential this is when it comes to goal setting. And somehow, if you have never come across this acronym, let me be the first to introduce this to you, even though it's overrated. Your goals have to be specific. Basically, the how-to and what you need to do to achieve your result. If your goal is to gain more knowledge, then your resolution is to read every day. You need to have a specific action in order to have a result. It has to be measurable. You can't manage what can't be measured. In this case, we need numbers and figures in order to measure the progress. Meditate 10 minutes before getting out of bed. Drink 2 liters of water every day. Cut down on the use of social media to 10 minutes every day. These numbers makes the goal more precise and trackable. It gotta be achievable. Nothing more important than this because we wouldn't want to set goals that are not doable or overly ambitious. Because once we know that it's not realistic, that causes our motivation to win and can be as good as having no goals. Goals have to be relevant. This means they have to align with our value. And I'll link back to intentionality. This might not help us with the vague goals, but it helps us to remove hype and trends. They have to be time bound, which means having a targeted date for us to reach our goals. Not gonna lie, I feel kind of embarrassed to list down this acronym because it's kind of common sense like and so obvious. Something so simple but yet I made the same mistake every year, creating goals without the fundamentals of these five letters. Seeing it as a yearly review, often we just write our goals in our book and let the book do its magic. Only review it at the end of the year and then realize that goal setting is all bull. That's the cycle I've been through over and over again and I'll say the issue is not reviewing our goals frequently. Reviewing goals only at the end of the year is like trying to walk straight to your destination blindfolded. You might think that the goal is right in front of us and we know the action we need to take, which is walk straight. Without us reviewing or checking on our direction, we will tend to drift away from our path. In this case, what we want to achieve. Instead of checking it at the end of the year, we should do it every month or even every week. That's when a measurable goal is put into good use by tracking the progress and see how far we have gone and alter it if it's needed. If the goal seems unrealistic after you tried it, lower the frequency. If you have reached a plateau, then take some time to make improvement in the goal. Personally, I feel that goals shouldn't be left unmonitored because very often we tend to forget our intention and the purpose why we are doing it. So that's the four main issues that stopped me from achieving my goals last year and how I'm gonna fix it this year. And I hope that can help you out with your goal setting as well. And if it does, a click on the like button will help a lot with the performance of this channel and also recommend this video to other people like you. And by the time you're watching this, I'm probably in camp for my military service for two weeks. And that's the reason why you won't be seeing me next week but I'll be back. So I would like to take this opportunity to wish you an awesome year ahead and I shall see you again next next week. Bye bye.